Uh, hello everybody. So in this video, I will show you how to fix the following error. Could not find or load main class, which may occur with Eclipse once installed for the first time. So before starting Eclipse, we should be sure that we have installed the GDK correctly on the machine. To do this, we should start command prompt like follows. So here I click on command prompt. Then in this window, I type the following command. As you can see, I have installed the GDK and this GDK is 15.0.2. Now let's start the Eclipse using this shortcut. So here it is asked where I want to create my Java projects. So I will accept this path and I will click on launch. Now in this window of uh, Eclipse, I just uh, will close the welcome page like this. Then I will click on this link to create a new Java project. So from this window, as you can see, I uh, the, the GDK that I have is not mentioned in this window. So I will create a new project. Let's call it uh, Hello Project 1. And I will accept this default selection of GRE, use an, ex uh, an, execution, an execution environment. Now let's click on finish. Then I will create a simple project. So I don't need to create this model and I will just click on don't create. As you can see here, I have some errors, but I will ignore them and I will create a new class in this folder. So let's create a new class. And in this window, I will provide the name of the class. Let's call it hello class. I want to add the public static void main function into this class. So let's click on finish. Then here, I will just add a single instruction which allows me to print a message. Now let's save this file, then let's execute it. And as you can see, I have this error message, which tells me that there are some errors. So I will just click on proceed. And the error I obtain is could not find or load main class. So to fix this problem, I will just create a new uh, project. So I will delete this one. I will delete it definitely from my computer. Then I will create a new project. So in this window, I will provide the name of the project. So let's call it hello project. It's called hello project two. And instead of selecting this option, I will select use default GRE. So I will click on finish. The same thing, I will not create a model for this project. And here I don't have the error anymore. So I will just add a new class. And in this window, I will provide the name of the class. Let's call it hello class. And let's add the public static void main into this class. Let's click on finish. Now let's add the same instruction than before. Let's save the file. 
then let's execute it. Now, as you can see, I don't have any error. But as you can see, the GRE that is used by Eclipse is not my default GRE. It is the GRE that has been installed with Eclipse. So it is possible to use it. And as you can see, the, pro, uh, the, the, the class is executed correctly. But of course, if you want to use the GRE that is available that you have installed on your computer, in this case, either you have to start Net, uh, Eclipse several times because it seems that Eclipse has a bug, or you can just remove the GRE that is available with uh, Eclipse. And this GRE is available at the folder of the user and at this location. So let's delete it from the computer. So let's go to this location. Then in the user folder, I will go to ATP data, then local, then temp. And here, the name of the folder that contains the GRE is EOIA1BD. So let's delete it. This is the folder that contains the GRE installed by uh, Eclipse. So I will de delete it. But before deleting, before deleting it, I will just close uh, Eclipse. So let's close it. And now let's delete this folder that contains the GRE of Eclipse. Now let's start Eclipse again. Let's accept this location to create the Java projects. So let's close this uh, project. And let's create a new project. Now in this window, as you can see, the GTK that I have installed on the computer is available here and here. So I can use it instead of the default GRE of uh, Eclipse. I can create the new project, let's call it uh, hello project three let's click on finish i will do the same thing and don't create model now in this project i will create a new class and in this window i will provide the name of the class let's call it hello class Let's add the public static void main and let's finish. Now here I will add the same instruction. Let's save the file, then let's execute it. As you can see, I have the, uh, the output that I expect. And also, if I check the location of this GRE, I see that this is the GRE that I have installed on my computer. So I hope that this video was useful for you to fix the error with uh, Eclipse. Thank you very much for watching.